Most modern model railways are operated by a direct current electric motor, and in this video we show you how to measure an important characteristic, the stall current. The reason why it's important is because the first release of the protocab loco control unit and battery will only support a stall current of up to 500 milliamps. Forthcoming new models of the loco control unit will be able to handle larger currents, but this will in turn require a larger battery. So for the first release of the pilot series of the protocab products, we've had to compromise in order to achieve the smallest possible size to give us a reasonable running time and a reasonable amount of power. Let's have a look at some very simple characteristics of the direct current motor. If a DC motor with power applied to it is not free to rotate, it is said to be stalled. This may seem like a remote possibility, but this is exactly the situation the motor is in, just at the point where, having been stopped, it is about to turn. If the motor was held in the stall condition for more than a few seconds, the windings of the motor would heat up and the motor would inevitably burn out. A model railway motor is required to move a load, say the train and the weight of the locomotive, from a standing start, and at this point the stall is also experienced. However, in model railways with metal wheels on metal rails, if the load is too great for the motor to be able to move, it would tend to result in the wheels of the locomotive spinning rather than the motor stopping. The ideal way to work out the stall current of a motor is to look at the manufacturer's data sheet, but this is not often produced and not often available to modelers. Therefore, we have to be able to work it out for ourselves. There are, however, some websites where manufacturers, clubs and individual modelers have calculated stall currents by experiment and published them. Very often you will have purchased a ready-to-run locomotive and wish to convert it to protocab. If already fitted, don't remove the pickups from the wheels yet because we can use a test track to work out the stall current. Firstly, we need a normal direct current controller. Next, you will require a multimeter. If you don't already possess one, these can be purchased quite inexpensively from online auction sites or from online electronic component suppliers. We don't need high precision, just a general idea of the level of stall current that your motor takes when at the stall. To measure current, you place the multimeter in series, or in other words in line, with one of the two cables between the controller and the track. The other cable returns directly from the track back to the controller. Because your controller can create a bi-directional flow of current, it doesn't actually matter which lead is connected to the multimeter. Having connected up the controller and multimeter to your track, place the locomotive on the track and run it as you would normally, recording the current that's drawn on the multimeter. You might like to place some coaches or wagons behind the locomotive to see what effect this has on the current draw. Now we come to measuring stall current. With the motor running at full speed, try to hold the locomotive in place so that the wheels do not rotate. At the same time, see what level of current is recorded on the multimeter. Note that on this particular loco, the stall current exceeds the 500 milliamps of the 0502 LCU, so this is not an ideal candidate yet for protocab. Only hold the locomotive stationary for a few seconds. If you did not record the current on the multimeter, it is better to release the locomotive and try again. Here is an important message if you are testing the stall current on a metal bodied loco as opposed to a plastic bodied one. Although it is very rare and the controller will have safety devices 
to cut out excess current, it has in the past been known for a motor at stall to overcome these safety devices and pass a very high and potentially lethal current through to the locomotive. So our strong recommendation is not to touch the metal parts of the locomotive with your bare fingers. Finally, please note that the multimeter is designed to read a steady current and that when your locomotive is running around the track, the results are likely to be unreliable due to the dynamic nature of the way that the current is being consumed by the motor. Thank you for watching this customer support video and if you have any questions or comments, do please write to us at support at protocab.com.